All right, y'all. This is Big Rich. We got to get into it today. I really didn't want to talk about this today. You know what I'm saying? I really wasn't even going to comment on it because for the simple fact that Shakur Stevenson is one of my guys. You know what I'm saying? And um, I normally don't really comment this hard on my guys because, you know what I'm saying, that, um, you know, I just don't. You know, I just normally... You know, keep it simple, but what I saw the other night, man, it wasn't that it was so much of a bad performance. It was just a matter of um, that's just type, that type of fighting style is just not going to sell. Like, um, what, he, what what Shakur did for his stock, for with that performance now, whether his hand was hurt or not, he completely cut his stock in half with that fight because it's the fans who pay for these fights people like me like if i don't get credentials i'm paying 80 dollars, 70 dollars for pay-per-view to see this fight but the problem is is that that's not a pay-per-view performance that's a performance where you did what you have to do to win and i don't think that you're gonna be able to get away with that kind of stuff in this day and age, you know what I mean? Because people want to see you get in there and you fight. They want to see that. And there's nothing that you can do to change that because that's that's who pays the bills. You know what I mean? So it's almost like it's a double-edged sword, you know? He could have went in there with a hurt, on, hurt hand, hurt arm, hurt shoulder, whatever was hurt. He could have put it all on the line. Laid it all on the line, and he could have got knocked out because that guy that he was fighting had severe knockout power. But I think once Shakur felt his power, I think he was on his bicycle the rest of the night. Now, whether that's fair or not, that's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? I respect the fact that Shakur did what he had to do, but at the end of the day, it wasn't enough to gain fans. And that's who pays the bills, you know. Um, it's sad, I mean, but it's part of boxing when you really think about it. You know, a lot of great fighters have put on some performances like this. But the thing about the greats, when they did use that defense to get on that bicycle, you know, it was all about, you know, not get hit but make them pay. See, the problem with Shakur is, is that he was making a miss, but he wasn't making them pay. And that's just the honest to God truth. And I got to speak on it. You know, shouts out to Jay Prince and the whole movement. You know, shouts out to Shakur. But, you know, real boxing facts, I got to keep it real, man. You know what I mean? I love the guy. I love, you know what I'm saying, his ability. You know what I'm saying? But um, if you're going to fight like this, man, you got to make him pay. And that's just the bottom line. And because, uh, you know, when Floyd was, was using his defense, he would always make you pay. You'd always, you know, you would always see Floyd. As soon as he missed, it, uh, make a miss, he'll make him pay. And that's the difference between you and Floyd. And you got to realize, you know what I'm saying, in this day and age, you know what I'm saying, it's all about money and putting people in the seats. And if you're not able to do that, then it's just a sad case. You know what I'm saying? Hold on a second. Yeah, and um, shots out the uh, top rank. Um... And uh, shout out to Floyd Mayweather. I mean, he was at the fight. Uh, Shakur was able to bring Floyd Mayweather there, which is, that's amazing, you know, to see Floyd Mayweather and Bob Arum and all of them in the same room. You know what I mean? Um, I think Shakur is a star, but at the same time, you know what I'm saying, Shakur has to make up his mind. Do he want to be an internet king or do he want to be a boxing king? And um, that's from what I see. He's, a, he's very, very emotional, you know what I mean? And, it's, you know, I don't, I don't want to say this. I'm not saying this lightly. I'm just saying how I feel and, and what I think. And I just think that he needs to mature. And I think he needs to get more like Devin Haney. Devin, Devin Haney had to mature up. You know, Devin Haney said some things back in the past that he probably shouldn't have said. And he matured up, and he went and got that money. He did what he had to do. And I just think that, in my opinion, Shakur missed out a huge opportunity when he didn't take that 20%, that 25%, whatever, whatever, whatever 
he offered, he should have took it because it wasn't about money. It was about belts. And um, if he believed in his ability. And I just think that Devin uh, put that offer on him. And it's like whether he took it or not. I mean, whether if, if he would have gave him 10% or if he gave him 5%, you know what I mean? You're talking about four belts. If you believed in your ability, you should have took that money. That's just the bottom line. Took that money. And there's great examples of, look at Floyd. Floyd used to tell top rank, you know what I'm saying? Hey, we only got $10,000 for you. Floyd be like, give me the fight. Take it. Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. See, and that's the mentality that you have to have, you know what I'm saying, if you want to be great. And um, I just think that, you know, Shakur is a great fighter. I just think he ain't great yet. And I just think that, you know, hopefully he'll rematch this guy, you know what I mean, and prove to the world that it was just his hand or shoulder or or knee or whatever, whatever he claimed he was hurt, was hurt. Hopefully it was just that, you know what I mean? And then we can go on with another chapter of, of greatness out of Shakur. You know what I mean? He didn't take the L. He won the fight, clearly. You know what I mean? And then let's talk about the other guy. The other guy didn't do shit either. The other guy didn't know how to, you know what I'm saying, cut the ring off. He didn't know how to rush in there and, 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 and throw punches. I don't know. You can't give, can't be mad at the other uh, uh, security that much because the guy, other guy didn't do shit. I mean, he damn, damn sure didn't even know how to even even lay a glove on secure. And this is so he basically got beat up with one hand. He got his ass kicked by one hand. Now, I don't know about you know all the power that he's supposed to have, but goddamn, I mean, you can't get one glove in to to, to rattle secure. And I just think that, you know what I'm saying, we can't just put it all on secure. We have to look at the other guy, too. And um, you got to stand up, and I got to keep it real. Now, normally, like I say, I'm biased. I'm telling y'all off the top I'm biased. You know what I mean? I'm not going to sit up here sugarcoat nothing. I'm biased, you know. I like Devin. I like secure. I like Tank. You know what I mean? I like all three of them. They're all my, my top pound-for-pound pound fighters. But when they when they doing the right thing, you always going to hear me say, you know what I'm saying? Give them praise. But when, when I see that they, they're not either not taking the right fights or not taking the fighting who they're supposed to be, who I think they should, who the world thinks they should be fighting, or doing the right thing, I'm gonna call them out. You know what I mean? Or, or lackluster performances like that could that could possibly hurt your whole career. You know what I mean? I gotta call you out on it. You know what I mean? It's not just that simple like Shakur is making it seem like this is literally your last contract on the promoter so he's not tied into no more fights for you so after this fight technically he could just say fuck it i'm out i don't want to fight i don't want you no more you know what i mean and if that's the case if he don't want you other promoters are going to be turned off too and if you get other promoters turned off that's just going to fuck your money off you know what i mean hopefully floyd mayweather was in the in the, in the house so hopefully they have a big five for, fight for you maybe in dubai somewhere or we uh, get your rematch with this guy, and you can knock this guy out, and hopefully we can do that. You know what I mean? But if not, man, it's gonna be a tough road for you. That's just why, from where I'm looking at it. You know what I mean? Like I said, I wasn't even gonna respond. I wasn't even gonna talk about it, but I gotta say something. You know what I mean? And that's just the way it is. This big rich, y'all let me know what y'all think. I am out.